Hello guys and welcome to another video. Now that the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 is upon us, after popular demand, I thought it would be a good thing for us to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 today. This is not going to be a traditional review, this is going to be a day like a vlog, a day in the life of using a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Is this still a good contender to pick up today? Well, we're about to check it out today in this video. You're gonna follow me during the entire day. And you know, whenever I'm doing this type of video, there are three things that I wanna check out. The build quality, the battery life, and especially the camera, which is those three main components that makes us purchase the phones that we're purchasing in 2019. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Come along with me. Let's get into it. Let's go. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Good morning. Wow, looks nice outside. Looks like it's gonna be a nice weather out there. So, really good to take this bad boy with us and then hit it, all right? If you wanna take a look at it in my hand. So this is it, guys. I'm already getting a lot of fingerprints on it. I'm not sure you guys can see it, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> this thing is a fingerprint magnet, guys. So, we're about to get the day started. Very excited to take you guys along. All right, let me get my keys real quick. I need to go to Walmart and I need to go to Best Buy to check out some, uh, you know, 4K TVs and different things. You know, some electronics, I was like, what a better day, you know, to take you guys along. Phones are literally costing as much as laptops, even the price of your rent. So I wouldn't, you know, um, encourage you to just put yourself in debt if you cannot afford it. Literally, if you want a solid phone that can multitask, that's still supported that still has all the features that you can use in 2019, the Note 8 is powerful. I mean, it's providing you with everything you can imagine, all right? And the colors are vibrant. But right now, as you can see with the front facing camera, I don't have any lighting. I don't have anything special on it. I'm just, you know, recording. I'm just talking. And it's doing a good job, guys. You know, yeah, looks good here. Ch check this out, guys. Looks cool. Let me crank it up a little bit. Let's speed up a little bit and see. <laughs> yep. But as you can see, guys, um, the quality of the camera is really amazing. And I'm talking to you guys straight from the Note 8 so that you guys can have a feel for it and see by looking at guys. All right, guys, we just made it to Best Buy here, but I, one thing I wanted to show you is the multitasking features on this phone. I mean, look at that. I have uh, YouTube in the background right here, okay? That's when I'm moving if I click back on it. As you can see, I can make it full screen. I'm on YouTube right here um, playing this song, but look at that. Once I press to go to my home right there, I'm not sure if you can see it. As you can see here, I can go to my home and I can go back to my Instagram. So I'm right here on Instagram. All right, enjoying myself and you can multitask. That's one thing that I love about it. You can easily just multitask and do different things on the phone. And that's one feature that's very important whenever you're trying to purchase something. And um, especially in this year, because there's so many newer phones that are offering all this. And if you have a phone that's not offering you all this, it will be a bummer. But hey, the Note 8 is really making it happen. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and turn up this beat. Here it is. Um, I'm not sure you guys can see it, but this beat is from uh, this channel right there beats savage shout out to them uh, but their beat is cool i mean let me turn it up there you go nice right oh check out these jbls guys <laughs> check this out so I am recording this obviously on the Note 8. I mean, look at the images. Look at that. Simply amazing, right? Very, very nice. And I'm really mind blown. Amazing, right? Yep. All right, 
I got. So um, I'm gonna be honest with you. One thing that is bothering me on this phone is the big speed button right here. I mean, this button right here, whenever you accidentally press it, it, it goes in and turns on the big speed. Seriously, that's one thing that I do not appreciate um, because if you put it in your pocket and it's not locked, Big Speed would just turn on by accident and start doing some flingy things. So um, keep that in mind, guys. I really do not appreciate having Big Speed turn it on, especially the way where the button is placed right there. It's not, it's not that great um, having that button right there. And every time you just press it, Big Speed would just go ahead and turn on. I mean, I don't know, but that's just one thing I don't appreciate from this phone. And I told you guys, I'll be honest with you guys about this phone. But again, um, that is not a deal breaker to me, as I believe this is a good phone to have. I mean, it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna hurt you that much to save money and get the Note 8 uh, if you just for that. But yeah, just keep that in mind, man, be speed. But another thing that I, I really wanted you guys to know about is um, the multitasking features. I'm really mind blown at how much you can multitask uh, with this, literally, because what you can do is, um, this phone provides you with so much. Of course, we know we have the S Pen at the bottom there that you can take out, but even with your hand, guys, you can literally bring out uh, different menus on the side of the phone just like that and look all this on the side of the phone you can go ahead and uh, you know customize all that all this can be customizable click the edit right there and then you can go in this menu right there you can select any application from the side here and put it right there you can press on the minus and remove any application you don't want to have here and customize it as you wish so anytime you want to go there you just have this on the side and quickly access your apps I mean this is awesome guys really really awesome so i'm liking it i'm really loving it as you can see guys i customized my note you know having my own thing going on right here and look at that let me bring the task menu down as you can see is is black all right it's black so i have my own task right there um, and it's dark so i know it doesn't have the one ui but this is something you can do if you want me to record a video and show you exactly how i customize it to look like that then I'll make a video on that to show you guys. And of course, one thing that we have is the headphone jack. We still have our headphone jack with this phone, which is which is awesome because, I mean, seriously, you want to have your headphone jack. There's a speaker at the bottom there, as you can see. Yeah, I really like this right here. And I think um, the, the radiance of this JBL is This is really cool. But I was wondering if that's the price right there, the $199 for this one. It should be. Unless it is? It's $199 right now. $199? Mm -hmm. And I can either get it here or get it online. It don't matter. Absolutely. Let me show my viewers online. Hey, guys, you can get this online, as you can see right there. Same price, man. $199. That's nice. Best Buy. I really, I might just get this one, guys, and we might review this and check it on the channel. I mean, you guys let me know in the comment section if you want me to check this one out. But, yeah, it looks really cool. Now, another thing that I love about this camera is the is the zoom. So literally you have the regular, and when you press right there, uh, look at that, this is the regular. If I press right there, I can zoom in. That's really nice. And uh, you know, the quality of the zoom kind of gives you that um, shallow depth of field that you want to get whenever you're, you know, trying to take a picture, portrait mode and all that. But this is really nice that we have that. You do not have the triple camera set, but at least you have this uh, wide angle right there. And then you have the zoom mode that you can use and you know snap your pictures now i'm gonna be honest with you the shallow depth of field isn't that great sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's like a hit or miss sometimes uh, so you want to keep that in mind sometimes it just does great work when you use it snaps the color pop and everything sometimes when you try to use it it just it just doesn't work that best. So that's something that I'm not sure if it's gonna be a deal breaker to you. If it is, then uh, you don't wanna pick this phone up. Gotta be honest with you guys, I am a Nintendo fan. My favorite game of all times is Mario. And right here, they have the Super Smash Bros. So you let me know in the comment section below who among you guys have the Nintendo Switch. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, go to um, Walmart. I was initially looking for some good solid speakers um, and between you and me, the prices of the speakers here are too high compared to the prices online. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out Walmart and see if they have anything solid. If they don't, we might just be purchasing the speaker I'm looking for online so that we add that to the office. Let's go. In case some of you guys were wondering what the 4K footage looked like, there here it is. I am recording this in the full 4K, the highest quality you can get out of this back camera. And as you can see, it looks really good, really smooth.
1157. If there's one thing that a Galaxy Note 8 shines in is the image quality. I mean, look at that, guys. Look at that. Really, really impressive. Look at how the colors are popping. Everything is just smooth, awesome. Mind blown, guys. Really mind blowing. This camera, for how old it is, um, is really shining in this video. I mean, really impressive. Really impressive. If really watch, you know, a lot of people want to purchase their phones. Um, the camera is a big deal, and the camera is delivering what it's supposed to deliver. I'm mind blown. Look, if, if I zoom in, it's simply like, you know, you're inside of the production, literally. Look at that. Exactly what you will expect in 2019, guys. Look, take a look. Look at that, guys. I just got in the car about to leave and it started raining. Oh man. <laughs> so it looks like this is gonna cut our day short as I cannot be out taking nice pictures under the rain. This is messed up. Let's see if I can get a nice shot. Look at that. I'm about to take something real nice. Let me go ahead and snap that picture. And if I zoom in, look, you can still see all the pixels and everything right there. Look at that. All right, guys, so look at that. The rain stopped. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? Well, I'm still on the road now, headed to another destination. I have some personal errands to run, but um, I thought I would go ahead and uh, show you guys what I was talking about, like the shallow depth of field test. So for example, if you have a subject in front, you want to have the background blurred, this phone does a good job at providing that. Look at this. So if I zoom and I put my, my hand in perspective right there, Look at how blurred the background is. So that's why I was telling you guys earlier that it works sometimes awesome, sometimes it doesn't. But as, as you can see, it's really giving me in video mode that shallow depth of field, which is amazing because a lot of people want to have this a lot of times. So you can really get this effect whenever you want to with this phone. Um, and especially when, when the weather is nice, you can really get some high quality shots with this camera, especially the back facing camera of the phone. And um, another thing that I'm happy about is that there is a new update coming to the Note in June uh, to the camera where out of the camera you can scan QR code with the native back facing camera. Really neat. Samsung is releasing that uh, first um, in Europe or Asia, I should say, in June. And I believe it should be available for every Note 8 user in July 2019. So that's really nice. And that's, you know, something that is amazing because it's happening before the note 10 is released in august uh, which is august 7th so look at that I, i'm recording all this with the note 8 obviously just to you know for you guys to enjoy the quality of the images here but as you can see great quality in the video mode great quality in the picture mode all right guys so after spending an entire day all right with this phone i can tell you if you're trying to save money this is one of the best phones to pick up in mid 2019 and even 2020 because this phone is still supported by Samsung. That's what's great about it. And don't forget that this phone is a 12 megapixel with the back camera, six gigabyte RAM, making it a beast if you wanna use it. And if you wanna save money, you should go ahead and pick this up today because you can get this for around $350 on eBay, Amazon, or any of those websites online. I can tell you one thing, that if you're all about saving money and still having a solid phone, providing you with that IP rating where you can still use it under the weather, the rain, and still have a solid phone that's working, the Note 8 is the best way to go. And don't forget about the S Pen popping up on the bottom here. This S Pen is solid. I mean, this is something that I will always encourage you guys to use because this will transform your life. This will make your life easier. If you think about it, not everybody has a whole lot of money to dump into a phone, spend a thousand, twelve hundred dollars into a phone, which are the prices those new flagships are holding currently in 2019. I love the screen, super AMOLED display. Whenever you're playing video games, social media, or just having fun on this phone, you will notice the high 
contrast on it. And I personally like my phones on the super high brightness with uh, the highest quality you can get, 4K screen quality, that's what I personally like. And I know it kind of consumes the battery a little more than when you keep it in 1080p, but that's why we're getting these phones. I mean, this phone is solid, this phone is amazing, and I can guarantee you, if you purchase this phone this year, you will not regret it. Well, hopefully you guys like this video. If you like this type of videos, go ahead and smack the like button at the bottom there. Question of the day, who among you guys have a Note 8 and how you liking it? Or who among you guys is thinking of purchasing it and why? I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Until then, you be safe, like I always say. Shalom. Bye-bye, guys.